Grant Eagles Huntsville Doppler, and this, this is our town. You know, it's an ongoing battle between the cat and the dog. And Well, for me, I'm kind of a new cat person. I wanted my cat to be in the video, but one thing I've figured out about cats so far is they do what they want when they want. You know, couldn't bribe the cat with treats or anything, but the dog, the dog is, uh, well, the dog's perfect for the video. I mean, watch this. Abby, lie down. Lie down, Abby. Good girl. See what I mean? Dogs respond a little bit more. I always had a dog growing up, had a Cocker Spaniel. There was a dog at the Huntsville Planting Mills named Charlie Brown that would come up and meet me at the corner and walk me back to the mill after school every day. A chocolate lab. Then we had PM that was a miniature long-haired dachshund, so then I decided that I wanted the dachshund, so we got Abby. We got Abby from a breeder in Martin River. Abby is now 14, going on 15 years old. Doesn't do much anymore, just lies around and sleeps. She's approaching the end. I'm sad for that. Sad for that for my boys, but it's a good lesson because I'll admit, yes, a pet does become a family member. I'll be the first to admit that. But again, I'll get in trouble for saying this, but I can't put them in the same categories. As people, I just can't do it. I would never hurt an animal, ever. Never have, never would. I guess my point is, is that I know that Abby's days are numbered and I would think to myself, would we get another dog? And then I'm thinking, mm, I don't know. One thing I've learned to respect about cats is their independence. They're, they're a lot easier than dogs, they truly are. But I never had cats as a kid. I mean, my father, my father didn't like cats. He would always say the only good cat is a dead cat. And you, don't get me wrong, my dad would never hurt an animal either. He would never would. My dad wouldn't hurt a fly as far as that goes. But see, at the Huntsville Planting Mills, the cats would get up in the insulation and they'd urinate on it, right? So it was a problem. So we would live trap these cats. I mean, first we approached the animal shelter and all their proper routes and they were like, no, we can't really help you out. So we would live trap the cats and take the cats out into the middle of nowhere and just set them free. But the problem was is that sometimes we'd catch raccoons as well. And one time we caught a raccoon and a cat in the same trap. And I will tell you this. The cat was alive. The raccoon was killed. So suddenly I have a new respect for cats. But these were wild cats. I mean, even as a kitten, you touch them, they would attack you. I guess my point is, and I'm trying to find a well, the roundabout way to deal with it because I'm trying to be the tough guy. The guy that's not sad that his 14-year-old dog is reaching the end. I know many of you have been here before. Ah, it's just a dog, right? Grand Nichols, Huntsville Doppler. And this, this is our town. Lie down, Abby. Good girl. See, she's so obedient.